In a recent update for the DJI RS2 gimbal, they have added the ability to set focus endpoint stops when using the external focus motor on your lens. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set that up, how it actually works, and talk you through a few points that you need to take into account before using this new feature. The focus motor itself is available as an accessory, but it's also included with the RS Pro kit alongside the Raven Eye adapter, and it includes everything you need to get it set up. Before you can use these new features, you will need to make sure that you're on firmware version at least 01.02.00.30 for the RS2. The first thing you will need to do is make sure that you have set your gimbal correctly, so swipe up on the bottom, click dial function, and make sure that this is set to focus motor. This will ensure that the controller on the back actually rotates the external focus motor rather than controlling the internal focus motor in your lens. To set up your focus motor endpoints, you need to swipe from the right and scroll down to the option called focus motor endpoint. Once you have selected this, you will have the option to focus motor calibrate or disable the endpoints. When you click on the focus motor calibrate, it'll give you the option to start the calibration. When you press this, the gimbal will begin the automatic process of setting the endpoints for the focus motor by rotating it either way. This process takes about 10 to 20 seconds and it will simply rotate it until it reaches the end stop on either side. Once done, you'll get the calibration completed message on the screen. Now, something I do want to mention is it is apparent that this process puts quite a bit of force onto the lens of your camera and you can see my lens actually shifting on the mount. Sometimes I actually found I had to hold it just to make sure it didn't rotate the camera on the quick release adapter. I would just be very careful of the amount of force and it could be worth you actually holding it while it's doing this because no one wants to see any damage happen to their lens or camera. Now, at the point of making this video, there is only an automatic method of setting the endpoints. There is no manual way of doing it. However, this may change in future firmware and do please take that into account. Now, there are some new other features, including a new dolly zoom feature been added as part of this firmware. And it gives you the ability of actually controlling the zoom on your camera and the focus. And the nice thing about it is that you can also do some automatic focus pulls by using this dolly zoom feature built into the gimbal rather than do it within your camera like you can on the GH5. Now, to do this, you would set the endpoints for the dolly zoom on A and B, click next and then set the duration for the time you want it to take to travel between the two positions. And then when you click start, it will actually then automatically rotate the gimbal motor at the set speed depending on the time to allow you to get those either dolly zoom or focus transitions. And that is it for this video. If you'd like to support the channel, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell as well. There are links to the new DJI RS2 and RSC2 gimbals in the description of this video as well. They are affiliate links, but by using them, you do help to support the channel.